What's up, doll collectors? Hobbyist, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. I am totally loving the way we are doing doll rooms with the easy walls that we made in this video. If I want to change things up, I can just move the walls to close off spaces and change the wallpaper. I kind of feel a little more willing to use patterns I wouldn't normally use, kind of like our magnetic wallpaper, only these walls come with storage. We can create small minis to go inside. I was thinking that maybe we could make some lamps using Easter eggs. If it works, this could be a fun way to use Easter eggs after Easter. These eggs are made of foam. I bought them at Michael's. We are also using a used pen a button, a deodorant cap, and LED lights. I start by taking the pin apart to get the clear tube. I score it where I want to cut, then I can easily break it. I push it through the egg and clear out any excess foam so we can see right through the center. Run the lights through the tube, then just wrap them around the top in a tight little coil. In the cord to the back of the lamp, glue on a button for the base and a plastic cap for the top. I'm using a deodorant cap. I glued the battery pack to the back of a mini brand's books shelf and I glued down the wire as well, leaving the switch on the side so we can just turn it on. And we have a working lamp and the cord is hidden in the back. Adding a soft glow to our doll rooms. And when we're not using it, we can just place it between the walls. Y'all, I had an idea. After we made the diaper cake using my mini baby packaging in this video, I thought to myself, if we can make a diaper cake, can't we just make diapers? Like diapers that look like disposable ones. Hmm, but I'm going to need more my mini baby packaging. So, I guess we have no choice but to open more My Mini Babies. On Instagram, Zuru Toys made a post saying that My Mini Babies are now in stores. I haven't found them in the wild yet. I've been buying the two packs on Amazon for $15.99 each. But Toya, it always says currently unavailable. Y'all, I've been checking Amazon three times a day, in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. When I see there's an option to buy, I pick up a couple because I am kind of crazy about these little babies. And yep, those five below towels totally work. But now that Zuru Toys has said that they are in stores, if you are looking for them, you probably just need to keep an eye out or stalk Amazon like I do. I am hoping to get the pink or green crib today. I haven't gotten a crib yet, so that would be nice. We have two capsules with 12 mini babies to collect. Pull the zipper tab, remove the wrapper, I mean wrappers, then the capsule, take out the bags. We have three bags, which we need today for crafting a birth certificate, and a collector's guide showing all the mini babies. And in a previous video, we turned it into board books. How adorable is that? Let's carefully open the bag because we need it and see what we have. Ah, it's a changing table that we can quickly put together following the instructions. And let me just say, while it is underscale for my dollhouse, I do appreciate the white furniture. Let's open the next bag to get oh, pink. It's not a crib, but it's pink. We also have a fabric diaper, which is awesome because they don't always come with one. Some tiny pink baby products and tiny blue baby products. Let's carefully cut the last bag. Don't want to cut the baby to reveal our little bundle of joy. Oh, you're stinking adorable. And in need of a diaper. We'll be right back. I'm gonna need this too. Let's place the mat on the changing table. And here's our little baby. We can place the little products on the shelf underneath to display our My Mini Baby. 
Now that we have our bags, let's see if we can upcycle them into disposable diapers. I'm gonna need that diaper to make a pattern. I trace it on the instructions, cut it out, then use the pattern on the wrapper, then cut them out, place it on a baby for size. I think we should take it in just a little more around the leg just because it is paper and I don't want it to cut into the baby. So I altered the pattern, then I cut a second one to be a small insert to go in the center, making sure there's a little space around the edge. Take a small piece of the wrapper, fold it in half, place the pattern on the fold, lightly trace around it, cut it out, take a tissue, lightly trace the smaller pattern on top, I ended up tracing mine on the fold to keep all the pieces together. Cut it out on the inside of the traced line. Use tape to attach the tissue to the wrapper. I trimmed the tape, leaving a small border on the sides, and then I just made small cuts so I can fold the tape over the edge. I'm using an invisible tape, so I'm hoping that it just blends in. The tissue is now sealed on the other side. Now we just need to figure out how we want to keep our disposable diaper closed. Double-sided tape works really good. You just have to put a little square on the inside tabs. But I like using washi tape. Cut two thin strips and attach them to the outside of the top two tabs. Then we can cut more washi tape if we like and place it onto the back of the diaper to decorate our little disposable diaper. Okay, I kinda love that. Now the washi tape is not the most secure hold, so if you want something a little stronger, I would go with the double-sided tape. But the washi tape is also easy to replace as it loses its stickiness. You just peel it off and replace it. So if your My Mini Baby doesn't come with a diaper, you can DIY some disposable ones by recycling the packaging. I was able to make three out of one of the smaller packages. And to store them, we can just take one of the empty diaper boxes from Mini Brands, open it up, and remove the paper inside, then add our crafted diapers. They totally fit! Then we can just close it up and store the diapers underneath. One baby to go! Come on, give me a crib! <laughs> I know the crib is going to be small. I just want to see one. Here's the birth certificate and the collector's guide. I have three packages, which we are going to carefully open because, you know, they have the potential to be disposable diapers. And, oh, yes! That looks like a crib! Yeah! Here are the instructions to put it together. It looks pretty simple. This goes here. The other one goes here at the other end, then a board on the bottom. Easy enough. In the next bag, we have a little mattress. It's yellow with polka dots and a little baby pillow. We can place that right there. There's a blanket to wrap the baby and a tiny little teddy bear. So I'm thinking this one doesn't have a diaper. Nope, but that's okay because we've got packaging and we can make a little disposable diaper and do a little recycling. So I finally got a crib, which is awesome. But yeah, it's kind of small, but we can take all the different pieces that we have and make a tiny mini baby nursery. Let's check the comments right quick. Toya. Can you give the babies eyelashes? Like, with a rerouting tool? I'm gonna have to poke them. In the eye. Okay, let's do it. We made this rerouting tool using our custom Rainbow Dash video that we made many years ago. It's an X-Acto knife holder and a sewing needle. I use wire cutters to cut the eye of the needle at an angle, then just place it in a X-Acto knife holder, whatever this thing is called, and you have a rerouting tool. Let's borrow a strand of hair from a doll. Place the hair over the baby's eye. I actually placed it a little bit before where I want it to go. And then we're going to use the rerouting tool like a little hook 
go before to grab the hair. Then we're going to move over to the line of the eye, like the little painted eyelash, and just push it in. And then pull the tool out. And it's staying. Then I trim the excess and repeat, getting as close to the last one as I can. Yep, this is tiny customizing and might not be the correct technique for this like at all, but it does seem to be working. So after I do one eye, we can just trim those little lashes. Not too bad, but we do need to do a better job of keeping it on the lash line. Do the second eye. I was able to do both eyes with that one strand of brat's hair. And now our My Mini Baby has rooted eyelashes, which totally helps to make the eyes stand out more. I'm pretty happy with our first attempt here. But keep in mind, when customizing, you take the risk of ruining your dolls forever and ever. You have been warned. Another idea is to thread the needle with the hair, then push it through the lash line, pull the needle out from the other side, and trim it. I like this better because I feel like I have more control over the placement, but keep in mind, both ways could end up with splitting. I wonder if we can cut a mouth. I'm gonna use my X-Acto knife, Oh wow, this 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 looks like something. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna just go ahead and cut a little slit right on the little smile or mouth line or whatever that's the little painted line is. These little babies are very easy to cut, so be careful. But we did it. But now the little babies can drink from a bottle and it stays. However, I would not leave the baby with the bottle or a pacifier for a prolonged period of time because then it might get stuck that way because it wasn't designed to do this and we don't know the long-term effects. But with all these doubles, twins, and triplets, it's kind of fun to spend a little time customizing them. Thank you for joining us while we had fun with our minis, recycled doll packaging, made a lamp out of an Easter egg, and gave our mini babies eyelashes. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of My Froggy Stuff. And we will see you next time. 